Hi, this is Ellie Tom Elamine, and here I am in Kumta, India, and this is our Brethren Retreat. Now, the Brethren Retreat is going to start officially within an hour from now, but in the meantime, I got to go get prepared. So the way I choose to get prepared is, guess what? I'm going to go get a nice, relaxing massage as I meet the rest of the people, meet the students, and so forth. But the benefits of a of uh, the benefits of a repeated massage, the repetition of it, on what it has on our health and our well-being, and yes, dealing with the breatharian journey. Now, as I give videos, I know there's people who always jump on here and say, "Is this mandatory to be a breatharian?" As I give different methods, I'm just educating on them, and um, you choose which one you want. But the main thing on uh, the breath and journey, you're relieving stress from your body and your mind. That's what you're doing. The less stress on the body and the mind, the more energy comes to your body from other sources. That is, that is mandatory. Do you understand? This is why I say, um, Meditation is the foundation of the breatharian journey. It is very important to understand what meditation does. First, you go into relaxation. That's the rule of all of them. Relax the body. As soon as you relax the body, that allows the energy to flow to start breaking up the stress on the body. Do you get this? So. Each video I try to do, I try to come more and more down to earth. That is not a thing, just belief and stuff like this. So even when you start getting into fasting, now fasting and living on prana is two different things, but they go down the same road. Listen at this. Because when you put in less in your body or none at all, that is less stress on the internal organs. Is this making sense? And if there's less stress on the internal organs, then that allows more energy to circulate freely throughout the body. So it's important to know these things. <laughs> and so right now we're about to get into massage and I'm going to my massage appointment right now before the retreat starts. Um, they got, I've been here in India a little over a week and this is about my sixth massage, so that shows right there for me to teach this video. <laughs> hey, um, y'all have a good one. Y'all leaving already? Yes, I go just to Goa for another week. Ah, well that's good. So you coming back or just going there? No, now I stayed for three and a half weeks, so now I leave. Oh, well that's good. Y'all came for the good health benefits. All right, <laughs> see y'all soon. Yes. <laughs> Kalawaki, ciao. <laughs> ciao, ciao. This is a Ayurvedic clinic right next to the retreat so people come here to really get their health together. See, we are in a, a great health revolution like never before. That's why the Breatharian message is a holistic health message, without a doubt. Okay, I done lost which way I go here. Uh, where's the massage at? Oh, I'm going right, the right way? All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, this is very important to know the health benefits of a massage. Now, what's the health benefits of a massage? First of all, a massage helps lower blood pressure. I can't name them all, but I'm going to begin. Lowers blood pressure just by making that contact with somebody's uh, um, massaging your body like this. It um, relieves the stress in the muscles. It helps with the immune system. It helps with blood circulation. Um, it brings forth more flexibility. It helps with your breathing. So I could go on and on. Those are just a few what um, massage can do to your body and your mind. Now let's get even deeper. And this is part of the breath and journey because no matter what route you take, you have to relieve all those things anyway for the body to coordinate itself with the internal energy flow and also to receive more light from the atmosphere. You got all of that stress in between that's blocking you 
from the external laws of the universe, that's what causes uh, um, the energy blockages right there. That's why sick sickness starts. Now listen, as we get even deeper. <laughs> now repeated massage, they actually did a control group where they massage people once a week and then they massage people twice a week. And this is what they said, the people who got massaged twice a week, uh, they, they seen physical and fast changes take place just because of those repeated massages twice a week. Now there's a thing called self-massage. I got a video dealing with self-massage. Nobody knows your body better than you. Get in the habit of making that contact. When the last time you touch your shoulder, see how it feel, go down the arm, feel your leg. Start breaking up these blockages because you have great energy in your hands because your hands have the most chakras in the body. But getting that expert to do it who really has concentrated that masseuse to put their skills to work, uh, really getting your body up and running. <laughs> I'm doing a video here on massage. Is that okay? I got to ask their permission. <laughs> I'm almost ready? All right, I've been waiting on this. <laughs> shoes. Oh, yeah. Got to take off my shoes here. And here we go. This is a great clinic. These guys are professionals. Is this okay? <laughs> These guys are professionals. Y'all can wave. They've been doing this. And professionals, they're going to give me the traditional oil massage. So they're really going to get in there, and they're doing it at the same time. It's like one big hand touching you at one time. <laughs> so these guys is great. So I'm going to get prepared. Uh, that'll take off my jury. And I'll just do the first half here. I just say some more things at the camera. We are in traditional India. I got the full garment on. I'm about to really get a good massage here, get all of this broken up, energy flowing, and then we're going into the retreat and do some good qigongs and get this these organs going to another source instead of physical food. This is what it's all about. Use your resources. This is a good age we're in. Namaste and have a good one. All right, bye bye.